another edition of Razor's Edge for Rookies. Today I'm going to discuss how to merge a duplicate record. Now for demonstration purposes, I have added a second Tenley Smith to my sample database, just so you can sort of uh, see how you go about merging two records that are identical. Unfortunately, when it comes to duplicate records, there's no shortcut. There's no quick button that'll take record A and merge it into record B and end up with one tidy, clean record. You <clears throat> unfortunately have to open them both and take the painstaking trouble to actually look which tabs have data, which information on the Bio 1 and Bio 2 tab you want to keep, and copy them over into one good, clean record. So after I've opened up both records, the first thing I want to do is determine which is what we'll call the more accurate record or the one I want to keep. Now, typically that is the older record or the one that was put in first. And an easy way to identify which of these would be that is by the constituent ID. If your system is set up where every time you add a new record, it sequentially adds a number to the, the constituent ID, uh, any lower number is the older record. So if you look at these two, for example, here my Tenley Smith has an ID of 154, and here the duplicate has an ID of 262. So this was obviously added later. Another way to determine this is with the record properties button that you'll find on the top of each record. You can click that and you will see things like who added it, the date it was added, etc., etc. So at that point, when you're pretty much clear which one is the older, more uh, accurate record, what I typically teach is to mark the bad one like this. I will go into the bad record and I'll just put the word bad in addition to the last name. Now, from here, what I need to do is determine what fields I'm going to take from the bad record and have merged over to the good. And you start by looking at the Bio 1 tab. Now remember, when you take records and you put them side by side, you can see just by the tabs Bio 1, Bio 2 address, whatever they have check marks means there's data. So you'll notice that the bad record has peels on their record, they have notes, they have GIFs. Now, <clears throat> one of the things you have to determine is if you are going to copy things like relationships or appeals or notes or attributes. Sometimes you'll have redundant information, meaning that you'll have the same notes or you'll have the same relationships on the good record and you don't want to merge them over typically. You only want to merge over the data you don't have. So let's look at this. In my example here, on the Bio 1 tab, I have a home and an email address for Tenley Smith, but on the bad one, I have a cell. So what I would probably start with is just by taking that cell phone and I'd add it to his Bio 1 here. So now I have a cell phone. If I jump to the Bio 2 tabs, Let's see, we have volunteer there, we have volunteer there, so we don't necessarily need to make any adjustments. We're not gonna copy over any more info from that tab. So from here, what I'm gonna do is just look briefly at the tabs. I see that this one has an appeal, this one has a note, GIFs. That's really what I need to copy over. So you'll notice that from the bad record, what I'll, when I do the merge, I'm gonna take the appeals, notes, and GIFs information over. Okay. When you've made that determination, you go close the bad one, just like that. And then here's a quick shortcut to merge the records. From the top drop-down window where it says constituent, notice that you have this option that says merge. And then from there, if you scroll to the right a little, it'll say merge from Tenley Smith into someone or merge a constituent into Tenley Smith. Keep in mind, you can merge them either way. So just get in the habit of doing it one way so you're always being consistent. And this is the way I do it. Merge a constituent into Tenley Smith. It'll give you a save prompt, which you say yes. And now it's gonna search for the person. So what you do is you find Tenley Smith bad, just like you were searching for them uh, on a regular constituent screen. And then <clears throat> you'll get this. This is a merge dialog where it's basically saying it will take this information from the Tenley Smith bad and merge it into the Tenley Smith. And in our cases, we wanted to take the appeals, notes, and gifts. And then from here, down on the bottom, you want to check this box, delete source constituents. And when you're done, you say merge now. It'll give you a prompt, are you sure you want to do this? And in this course, you say yes. And it gives you another 
warning that deleting the source constituent may cause data to be lost if the gifts to be merged are linked to an event, etc., etc., which you should already know. And you say OK, and then voila. You will now only have one Tenley Smith, and that record will have all the combined data. OK, so there is a quick crash course on how to merge a duplicate record.